Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Prism Football 12 box. Pick your team number 8 from jazbeescasebreaks.com and a little giveaway right there too. Where's my finger? There's it is right there. If you bought at least two teams, you'll get one entry uh, for five, 100 bucks a break credit. If you get two teams, four teams, you get two entries. Six teams, you get three entries. Eight teams, four entries. Right? Eight in a row. Just ten teams, five entries. You're probably thinking to yourself, no one's going to get five, ten teams, Joe. You're right. No one is going to get ten teams. That's too wild. Unless you're Robert, who got 11 teams all at once, all at the end. <laughs> right there. Pick your teammate on a Saturday. 11 tuple last bot mojo right there. There it is. Also, all the stars next to his name means last spot mojo. He got all those teams at once. At the very all in one swoop. So, Robert, you got 11, 10 teams. So, it's five entries in the promo, basically, for the 100 bucks break credit versus everybody else. So, we'll see how that randomizer works out. That'll be at the very end of the video. An autograph recap will also be at the end of the video, along with any train whistle cards non-auto train whistles, and all autos and all hits will be recapped at the very end. There it is. All right, so all sealed up right there. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as I was saying on air, earlier before we started this recording this break should kind of take us to the last maybe 20 30 minutes of the show now oh, there we go now there are a couple short breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com that I'm down to do but at the end of the night um, like five star baseball is pretty close. The mixers really is only five quick boxes. I'm down to do that as well. So if you want to end with a little bit of baseball, I, I'll be down to do that. All right. So we have four stacks of three to make the twelve. You can see all those stacks right there. And good luck, ladies and gentlemen. So most of you know that Nick Jaspi and I are in the. Uh, Circa Millions contest did not do well last week. Looking to do better this week. So we went with here are five picks for the week. Now these are very different lines from what they would be now if you're picking for entertainment purposes only, of course. And these are also contest lines, and a contest strategy is different from just taking a side. Right? So with that disclaimer in mind, here are our picks. We took Buffalo minus nine and a half against the Redskins. They're hosting the Redskins. Bills have a good defense. I know Bills offense has been struggling a little bit, but Bills have a good defense. And I think they could hold the Redskins to not a lot of points. And they'll do just enough to cover it. We went with Philadelphia. Fly, Eagles fly, minus four and a half, hosting the Chicago Bears. That's our second contest pick. Can't really trust that Bears offense. <laughs> Eagles are at home. I don't think they've been home for a few games, so I think people are Philly fans will be fired up. Um, you know, a lot of teams play play a little bit better at home anyway. So that's what I'm thinking there. Minus four and a half is kind of a weird line, but I'm going to risk it. The contest, for whatever reason, had Minnesota plus two. Now, someone has to explain this to me. The contest, which lines are released on Thursday and they're locked in, had Minnesota plus two, but now it's Minnesota minus three and a half. That's a huge swing, according to ESPN.com. It's a huge swing. I'm not sure what's happening there. Mahomes ruled out? Am 
Not sure. I'll give you my other two picks after the, at the next box. Here's the first box. Good luck, everybody. We got Juwan Winfrey to 199. Now these numbered cards, I'm just gonna set aside and we'll uh, we'll top load those, um, sleeve and top load those by our our sorting team. We'll do that. That's what I'm trying to spit out. Now Joe Matthews is saying the goal of this break is to get one Minshew base. You've been in like two other smaller breaks and you haven't gotten a Minshew base. Is that right? There's got to be a Minshew base in here. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I haven't really been paying attention to non like numbered cards and non-hits. So maybe we have seen some. They would have shipped out to people who have had the Jaguars previously. But I don't know. Now I guess we'll try to keep an eye out for, for one of those. Are you sure he's in? Is he in here? Out of 175, Josh Norman. And speaking of the Eagles, there's Clayton Thorson to 149. Red Wave autograph for the Eagles. That'll be for Robert. Robert James in the chat. Robert C. in the list. He's got a lot of teams. He's got his first auto. Three autos per box, so we'll keep an eye out for the three per box. There's Jordan Aiken to 249. Joe says he is in there, okay. There's Marshawn Lattimore to 175. We got Jadavion Clowney to 199, and now Clowney's got a bruised shoulder. Remember that in his South Carolina days? That's a great sound bite, one of my favorites. And now Clowney's got a bruised shoulder. Now there's Ed Reed autograph. Nice. Flashback autos. For the Purple Birds, that'll be for Rick Thomas and the Ravens. Nice Ed Reed. 39 out of 49. We got Lights Camara action to 75. Justin Tucker to 149. Kid Reporter. Be one more auto? Yes. And another Raven, Tony Siragusa. Goose. Franchise Legends. What's he doing these days? I feel like either Fox or CBS had put him on television broadcasts. Is he still with us? Next box. So our first three contest picks were uh, Buffalo minus nine and a half, Philadelphia minus four, Minnesota plus two. I think we were on the better side of that number right there because for some reason it's at minus three and a half right now. Not sure why that was, but maybe maybe the contest got full recovery for Vikings. Not sure. Next two, going with the Oakland Raiders. Oakland Raiders minus two at Oakland. Now, Oakland spent like, I think, six calendar weeks, six calendar weeks on the road. They had like three road games, a bye, and then two more road games, and they're finally playing their first uh, home game, actual home game, in like seven to eight weeks. So, Raiders have been looking decent. They almost beat the Texans last week, so they're playing pretty competitive football. I think they'll be fired up at home. I'm going with them. I think the Raiders can move the ball on the Lions' defense. I think the Lions can also move the ball on the Raiders' defense, too, so I think there'll be a lot of points scored in that one.
And the final one, this might be the last time I can ever pick these guys in our contest. Uh, the Cleveland Browns on the road, minus three and a half at Denver. Denver just IR Joe Flacco, and uh, their quarterback situation's unsettled, and their offense wasn't going well with Joe Flacco, and now they're going with a backup. There's Daniel Jones to one to two forty nine for the Giants. So this might be the last time. I mean, if the Browns can't beat the Broncos, sorry, points, randomize that to one person in the break, then I don't know what to think about the. Uh, no, nah, I don't know what to think about the Browns. I blame Freddie Kitchens. There's Marvin Jones Jr. to 49. We'll see this guy this weekend. That'll be interesting. So those are our picks. I think Bengals play, or are they on a bye? No, they're on a bye. We'll see him after the bye. So we'll see what, what he can do. Andy Dalton getting benched. Carlos Hyde to 199. Got Hunter Renfro, 48 out of 75. Green Scope autograph for my Raiders. And that'll be for Jason Schmidt. And my Raiders. Nice Hunter Renfro. There's Jason Witten to 199. There's Nikhil Harry. Derek Barnett to 249. Mohamed Sanu to 149. Got Caden Smith to 175. Deontay Johnson to 149. And Tiki Barber to 175 for the Giants. And Raquel Armstead, 11 out of 49, sensational signatures for the Jaguars. Little cat team mojo for Joe Matthews. Wait, was there a Minshew base? Did I miss it? I, I was trying to... Oh, there it is. I see you. There he is right here. Just a regular one. There you go, nice. Oh, and the right, the third autograph was the points. Um, winner take all on the points as usual. So we'll do that randomizer at the end. All right, third box. Okay. So now that you've heard my contest picks, let's see what you think. Um, yeah, the cops are looking for me, Robert James. You hear that? There was reports of, uh, reports of fire being pulled out of these boxes. They're investigating. Might have to call the fire department. In London, Texans at Jaguars. Texans at Jaguars. Well, Texans in, in, in London playing the Jaguar. Who does everyone have? Just winning, straight up. 
Or if you want to answer against the spread, Texans are minus one and a half. Um, who does everyone have? Whether just straight up or if you want to, if you like the spread, if you want to talk against the spread, you can answer it that way too. I'm a little worried about the about JJ Watt not being on the Texans. Jaguars are this is the Texans' first time in London. They've never been there. The Jaguars as an organization has been there before many multiple times, most, I think, of all the NFL teams. So I think they've got I think they've got some familiarity there. I think it'll be close. I think it'll be really close. No, not all the fires are out, Big Rig. I think the fire that's closest to my place in Santa Monica. The Getty Fire, I think that's like 75% contained. I think there's some other ones in Northern California that have restarted up. There's one in Santa Cruz and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, thankfully the weather has been a little cool. So the firefighters and all the other guys, you know, and girls have been kind of in decent conditions. I think last year it was unseasonably hot and there were fires. So that, that was brutal. AJ Green to 149, but thanks for asking. Yeah, they're, it's been crazy out here. Like I, my allergy though, I've been sniffling all week, and my roommates and I, we've all been sniffling and sneezing because of all the ash in the air, and just kind of already have allergies. You know what I mean? So that just exacerbates it. So it's been, it's been a thing. Keenan Allen to uh, 199. Gary says Jags. Marcus says Texans. Edward says Jags. Joe Matthews says Texans. Love the Jags, but the Ramsey thing was only keeping only one keeping Hopkins under a, under hundred yards. Will Fuller is out, and I, and I think that's the kind of guy that stretches the field a little bit for Deshaun Watson. They could be they could double Deshaun, uh, they could double Hop. Nate Solder going to the Giants. Mark Math uh, no sorry check that Robert with that one. Robert James. Sean says Texans by a mile. Not worried about it. Let's see, London games are weird. We, we avoided the London game. There's Danny Amendola. I feel like London games could be weird. You never know what's going to happen. Like, there's always something goofy happening. My, my Raiders beat the Bears. And at that stage of the season, the Bears, I think, were playing pretty decently. Yeah, Brian's saying they should be favored by more than one and a half. So there must be a reason why Vegas has them that low then, right? Could be the Jacksonville's familiarity with traveling out there, going through customs, dealing with all that sort of stuff, like the organization's good with that. There's Tyree Jackson to 175. Sean Corbett saying not only not only are the Texans gonna gonna beat him by a mile, they're gonna beat him by a Texas mile. There's David Montgomery to 199. Da Bears. There's Deshaun Hamilton to 249. Broncos. And a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? There's hype card, Michael Thomas. That should be gold, right? Out of 10? Yep. 10 out of 10. That card is gold! Lorenzo Carter to 249. And David Long is your third autograph. Rookie auto for the Rams. There's Nelson Aguilar to 75. There's the goal. Out of tens and under, I might as well just top load right away. Nice low numbers there. The redemption is going to be rookie autographs, card 327. D, Debo, 
A, David Montgomery, as Sean was guessing. Vid, Montgomery, there you go, Sean Corbett, bragging rights for you. No, Brian Painter said it too. Sorry, I think Brian Painter was first, actually. Oh, then Gary, then Sean. Sorry, Sean, I was just giving you too much credit there. But those three were the correct guessers. Chicago. My kind of town Chicago is. That is for Robert. My kind of town Chicago is. Yeah, Brian Painter actually said it first. Make sure you have a live chat attached. Now, sometimes top chat, I feel like, makes the chat order go weird, but... All right, next one. Oh, next game. Let's get, let's get your thoughts. I like your thoughts. Uh, Redskins at Bills. So Bills were one of my contest picks, minus nine and a half. Redskins at Bills. It's kind of a boring game, right? Oh, the gold was Michael Thomas. That was for the Saints. And that is for Mark Matheson. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have time for contenders. Basketball, Sean. We'll have time for like five-star baseball. Baseball mixer, which is only five boxes. Um, and I think that might kind of might be it. Actually. Oh, that's true. Haskins is starting. Edward says what well, Haskins starting makes it a little bit interesting. All right, fair enough. Hey, Josh Allen. Makes it a little bit interesting. I'm not sure if that's gonna be a game on, on on the TV though. I'll check in on the score. What about uh all right, what about Vikings Chiefs? Vikings at Chiefs with I mean, I, I don't know if uh, I don't know if Mahomes is playing. I think he's questionable. He practiced, should play. How well will he be playing? There's Jarvis Landry to one seventy five. Julian Love one out of seventy five for the Giants. Green Scope Autograph. I think it's called Scope. I call them Spirographs. That'll be for the Giants. New York Football Giants, Robert C. One out of 75. All right. Liam Hines to 199. Cameron Jordan to 249. Foster Moreau to 49. Yeah, Contenders Hoops. I don't think I'm going to have the energy for Contenders Hoops after this, Sean. Sorry. But Jason Jaspi will be here tomorrow, 2 o'clock Pacific. There's Juwan Williams, Red Wave autograph. For the Pat Riots, Matt Stone with the Patriots. Sean thinks Vikings will take. Right, no needle not moved on that Vikings Chiefs game, huh? What about Jets Dolphins? Does that move the needle? Anyone have opinions on Jets Dolphins? Jets at Dolphins? Dolphins are favored by th no. Jets are favored by three. There's Xavier Howard. He's still out there, right? He's pretty good.
Marquise Blair, Traquan Smith, 175. <laughs> that might might help. Tevin Coleman to 249. There could be ghosts on the field, Aaron. The ghosts of the ghost of Kenyon Drake, the ghost of Minka Fitzpatrick, the ghost of Ryan Tannehill. Chip saying, what, Vegas is begging me to take the bills? I know. I'm a little nervous about that one on the next morning. Out of 75, Alvin Kamara. There's Malik Hooker. Look at this hooker right here. Out of 149. Malik Hooker. And there's Paris Campbell. Indianapolis Colts. For the Colts, that'll go to Robert. Another Minshew, just another reg regular Minshew. Regular Minshew. All right, no one cares about Jeff Dolphins. What about, what about Bears at Eagles? That's gotta move the needle. Bears at Eagles, Eagles home favorites. Minus four and a half, which is sort of a weird number, but that's what ESPN says. I'm going Eagles. I, I did Eagles with my contest pick. Oh. Oh. Everyone's saying, everyone's saying I'm wrong. That Nick and I are wrong. Bears? Gary says bears. Chip says bears. Joe Matthew says they'll lose. Well, the bears will lose, but they'll cover with the plus four and a half. Uh, I think this is it, Jack. We may have time for a little baseball at the end of the end of the night, but we're, after this, we're, we're down to the, our last, like, you know, 20 minutes or so of the broadcast. We have time to squeeze in five-star baseball, if that moves the needle for you at all. Or the five-box pick-your-team uh, hybrid mixer. But I think everything else is a little either a little too far away or, or, or a little too long. Like, contender's hoops a little too long. So, I mean, random teams, NT, full-case anti-random teams, that's, that's relatively easy to fill. It's only random teams, you, have to, you don't have to think about picking a team. It's a little more automatic. Just buy spots, cross your fingers. But, but no, we're not even halfway through this break. So we got about another 45 minutes to go or so. I'm going to put all the stuff away and everything. Vanilla Gorilla thinks Miami picks up a win tomorrow. What, because of Pride? Pride? Maybe. Or are they planning golf trips already for the winter? Vacations. Bradley Chubb. Although, I'm sure there, I'm sure there are some guys that are, that are on short deals who are looking for new contracts, so they got, they got to put together some good tape. But then also not get injured. That's, that's tough, man. Old Jordan Humphrey. TJ Watt. You're on a team like the Miami Dolphins. Let's say you're you're kind of a fringy second year, third year player, maybe looking for another spot, another decent contract somewhere. You know, so there's Deontay Johnson to 199, but you also don't want to get injured.
You think Ryan Fitzpatrick's gonna light up the Jets? And he has he has his moment. What about this guy though? There's that guy. It's Terrell Davis, one ninety nine. Logan wants to talk Ravens Patreon. Oh, that's a we're not there. We're not quite there yet. Uh, Colt Steelers. The move. Does that game interest anybody else? Anyone have an opinion on Colt Steelers? Colts, whose offense hasn't really been been moving along. Steelers, I think, have a still have a good defense. Minka Fitzpatrick is actually. Minka Fitzpatrick, not Ryan. Minka Fitzpatrick has has uh, has actually done pretty well for in a short stint with the Steelers. No T. Y. Hilton for Jacoby Brissett. I think that might be a bit of a struggle for the Colts. John Ursua. Gary says Colts, but he's a homer. I I thought I was a little disappointed. At the Colts last weekend, I thought they'd be a little bit better. Adam Vinatieri, are we concerned? He's outdoors. The line is short. There's Dan the Man Marino to 49. So missed extra point, missed kick here, and there could be the difference. There's Kelvin Harmon, Washington Redskins. Kevin Harmon, Mark Madison, Redskins. It's good for Ebron. Maybe Ebron DFS. Pop, pop Ebron in there. It's Carlos Dunlap to 149. Carry uh, on Johnson to 249. I think he's out for the year, right? Poor Carry on Johnson. They probably need a new leg in Indy. Damian Harris to 10. That's for the Patriots. That'll be for Matt Stone in the Pats. Nice low number on that rookie. Vanilla Grill saying Ebron was on fire last year. Kind of dropped off this year. I feel like Ebron... Ooh, nice Daniel Jones. I feel like Ebron needs to check his hands. 72 out of 75. Nice green scope. Daniel Jones autograph for Robert James and the New York Football Giants. Seventy two out of seventy five. That is great. All right, next box. Next game, Titans at Panthers. Anyone have any thoughts on Titans at Panthers? Is the Kyle Allen ride coming to an end? He, he performed valiantly, but is that ride coming to an end? Carolina's at home, minus three and a half. Titans, are they rejuvenated with Ryan Tannehill? Maybe. Tannehill's got some players to throw to. A.J. Brown, Corey Davis. Um, you think the Panthers win 31 to 23? Over under is 42. All right. Panthers by 10, says Chip. Oh, um, five-star Chip, or, or the, the mixer. Might have some time for that. Or the NT random, NT baseball random. Sean, Sean says, I'm, I'm, oh boy, if I'm your hero, I've got problems. 
Uh, when are we going to expand and bring you on, Sean Corbett, for your own part-time show? What are you suggesting, Sean? Well, just know that if you work for us, you wouldn't be able to join any of our breaks. So you can't work for break credit. What are you, what are you offering to, to, to the show, Sean? Max, what's going on? Um, we should have some more triple threads, maybe later tonight or tomorrow. Some, some that I thought I saw some more in the back. I know we were running out though. Nick Foles, Ben Roethlisberger to one forty-nine. All right, so everyone's, everyone's feeling. Looks like everyone's feeling good about the Panthers. How about the Lions at Oakland? My Raiders. Oakland is one of my contest picks at minus two. How does everyone feel about that game? Talk to me. Raiders, poor defense. <laughs> but their offense is, is competent. They're at home for the first time in like seven, eight weeks. I think that'll be I think that'll be good. Out of 249. There's Jared Goff to 99. And Drew Locke. We might see him in action later this year. Sensational signature. Steve Olson says says Oakland. No one else has any opinions. Brian Painterson, how about how about Georgia? Beating them Gators today. Yeah, I caught a little bit of that earlier today. My uh, my Georgia friends are happy. Brian, did you go to Georgia? Old friend of mine was Harry Dog for a couple of years. And look at this! Wow, gold vinyl Tom Brady. Four out of five. Matt Stone and the Patriots. That's pretty good. Is Matt Stone here? Matt Stone, Patriots, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Now listen, I'm no fan. I'm as a Raiders guy. I'm no fan of this guy. Or the Patriots, but I'm a fan of Matt Stone. I recognize this is a great hit, though. Matt Stone getting that hit. I love that. Oops, sorry, points. Winner take all the points. I wish they were flipped the other way around. Oh, you did not go to Georgia, but you've been a fan all your life. Daughter's name is Georgia. That's a good name. That's a good name. Brian Burns to There's Brian Orlocker to 175 for the Bears. Trendsetter, Aaron, you're going to be at that game? That crowd should be pretty raucous. Raiders haven't been home for a long time. This is Kale Waring to 249. So I think the fans will be fired up unless, unless the Lions score some early, early touchdowns against the Raiders. Might quiet them down. There's Miles Gaskin. Who has shown some moments, some good moments with the Dolphins. That'll be for uh, Michael Gallucci as the Miami Dolphins. I 
think that's going to be a high-scoring game, too. I don't think those defenses can stop any stop anybody. I guess it'll probably come down to who has the ball, who has the ball last. All right, how about Buccaneers at Seahawks? Anyone have any feelings on that? Anyone want to pick a side? Buccaneers at Seahawks, whether straight up or Seahawks minus five, if you care about that sort of thing. Nice, thank you, Chip. We can squeeze that in at the end of the night after this break, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to do some five star. Buccaneers at Seahawks. Seahawks by at least five. The line is five. Buccaneers, uh, as as Jameis goes, Brian Painter saying Bucks suck. I live in Tampa, never pick them in the pick them. Yeah, that's right. That that kind of went under the radar when we were breaking on yesterday. I think yesterday, two days ago, Josh Gordon with the pass through waivers. And ended up with the Seahawks. Line move says Seahawks. Says Chip. Be interesting. I don't know. Seahawks feel like when they're, I don't know. They've lost. They've won and lost a lot of close games this year. So laying the the biggish number makes me a little nervous. And there is Lonnie Johnson Jr., Texans. It was Gary. Gold Vinyl Brady, number to five, four out of five. No on the color blast, Kenton. Mahomes or otherwise, not yet anyway, but we still have almost half the case to go. Yeah, I'm not sure why they picked up Josh Gordon. I mean, I guess they lost Disley. Maybe they wanted to get another pass catcher out there, would be my guess. I feel like, I don't think they really needed them, but there's Barry Sanders, 99. I'm just going to give the Josh Gordon experience a try. James Winston turnovers, that's, that's, that's the concerning thing. One day he's... You know, it looks lights out, and the next day he's throwing pick 12s. There's Devin White, rookie autograph for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, speaking of the Bucks, And that will go to Robert. I think Seahawks do have the edge here. I don't know, though. Do they? Bruce Arians is coaching the Buccaneers. He's got familiarity with, with Pete Carroll. And going to Seattle and all that. No, or does that does that not matter? Will Greer to one ninety nine. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure who I'm not sure if the Buccaneers are going to be behind Jameis after this after this season. I mean, one of my buddies, big Bears fan. He's sad about this guy. <laughs> There's Quincy Nunwa, 249. And Robbie Anderson, another gold out of 10. One out of 10. All right, looks like the mixer is sold out, and that will be that will be the last break of the night. I think that mixer is only, it should eat up the last part of our night. So thanks, everybody. And whatever else fills tonight, it will break tomorrow.
get that notification to the chat here. All right, thanks everybody. And we're keeping tops on, Sean Corbett. This is a family show. If you wanna, if you wanna end up here working at Jaspies, gotta, gotta adhere to the. It's like we're owned by. It's like we're owned by Disney. Christian Kirk to one forty nine. And Ed Oliver for the Bills to 175. And Easton Stick. I think his parents intentionally named him Easton. I'm like, well, baseball bats, hockey sticks, Easton. Louie with the Chargers. Browns at Broncos. Does that move the needle for anybody? I picked the Browns. I don't know if... might be the last time I'm ever going to pick them. If they can't beat the Broncos. Right? If they can't beat the Broncos. about no one cares about Browns Broncos okay what about Packers oh you think Drew Locke's gonna come in at halftime is he eligible he's off the IR Brian Painter is he good to go Chip I apologize but it looks like the last break of the night has been spoken for so anything else that fills will go to will go tomorrow, I'm afraid. Drew Lock will eventually get some time though, which I think will be good. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, what about Packers at Chargers? Packers playing in Lambeau West. It'll be like 90% Packers fans there. Sean says Chargers, no bias. Right. Steve Olsen says Packers, 27-21. Brian Painter says Packers by a couple touchdowns. John Torres says Packers will destroy them, no doubt. So lock it in. Put my uh, put my rent money on that. Rodgers will throw for 300. Now what happened to the Chargers? I feel like Chargers had a great season last year. They just kind of stumbled out of the gate and just never quite... Never quite got back on track this year. There's Ryan Kerrigan in 99. I think the Derwin James injury may have, may have kind of, may have influenced the, the nature of that team a little bit. But there you go, Jason. Jonathan Abram, go along with that Hunter Renfro from earlier. I like Jonathan Abram. It was sad that he was out for the season after game one. Injuries is really what, what I think derailed the Chargers this season. And then just a couple weird games where they just... A lot of games that just 
they lost by like a possession at the end of the game, you know? I mean, they could easily have like, a, what, two more wins? Could they be a five-win team? It's Jalen Hurd to 199. I'm not sure when Easton Stick's going to get his chance. I think Sean was reminding me the other night that 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 Philip Rivers has like a consecutive start streak going. They might honor that. I think. Uh, I mean, you might see him at the late, maybe the last part of the season, second halves or something like that. There's Rod Woodson, nice franchise legends Rod Woodson autograph for the Steelers, Michael Gallucci. Eighty out of ninety-nine. Miles Garrett to All right, well, James White is appropriate because he's a Patriot, and the Patriots are facing possibly their stiffest uh, opponent, their toughest task, to uh, Sunday night, the Sunday night game. Patriots at Ravens. Who wins? Just straight up. Ravens are plus three, but... Short home dog could be interesting, but Patriots, do they, th what's, who's their kicker? Don't know who the kicker is for the Patriots. Do have a pretty lockdown, uh, lockdown secondary. But that's not what the Ravens do. Ravens run the ball exceptionally well. And the Patriots, their run defense is a little rough. Look, look what Nick Chubb did to them. There's Landon Collins to 240. Look, look what Nick Chubb did to them last uh, last week. Yeah, he put the ball on the ground, but he also got a lot of yards. Big Rig says, hopefully Ravens. John Torres says, Patriots defense will find a way. Chip says, Ravens will beat the Cheater McBrady's. There's Drew Brees. He's back to 99. And Darwin Thompson, rookie autograph for the Chiefs. Kenton on the board. All right, Gary saying, I'd like to see the Ravens win, but can't bet against the Pats. Yeah, at least nothing significant. Yeah. I mean, if you if you're going Raven, I mean, you're probably probably going Ravens money line at this point. Jonathan Torres says the Patriots have never had a defense this good. Wouldn't doubt they take the chip again this year. Yeah, this is the quality. Of, this is the quality opponent. This year, did I miss a Boykin, Richard? Sorry. Oh, I also missed a Riley Reed. <coughs> Excuse me, Riley Ridley. Excuse me, sorry, my allergies are getting me.
I don't think I saw. I must have missed that Miles Boykin. But our chipping team will will find it. I missed that. Sorry. I don't see a parallel jumping out at me at the moment. But I did find this Riley Ridley that I passed by. All right. Next one. Gary saying, I'm old enough to remember when the Pats were a joke. Is that with the uh, the orange logos? Or the, the no, not the orange logos, the... Um, the, the Patriot, the menacing Patriot hiking that football, the center. Uh, no, Shelly, it shouldn't be. This is a complete, completely different thing. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe we, we should probably cham surprise we haven't been shut down yet. No, this is not Jaspie's After Dark. This is jaspiescasebreaks.com. We do unboxing stuff. Sorry, 249. Unboxing high-end sports cards, which is quite different. Dexter Williams, Green Bay Packers. But I mean, no one watches this channel thinking that this was SNL, right? And like, no one really got confused, right? <laughs> We're not that funny. There's Miles Gaskin to 75. Title, title has been changed, Sean. I don't want people mistaking us for, uh, for SNL. There's Riley Ridley to 25. Bears. That's true, Gary, but the, uh, the NBC legal department may see it differently. <laughs> they may see it differently. I think they have the rights to that combination of words. Riley Ridley autograph this time. Rookie autograph for the Bears, Robert. Robert James with the Bears. Carry on Johnson, two forty nine. Got Travis Homer for the Seahawks. Troy Brown to 149. Carlos Hyde to 175. Warren Moon to 199. Terrell Suggs to 249. And Bryce Love to 75. <laughs> See, this is Sean, this is why you wouldn't be hired at Jaspies. Too blue. 
Bryce Love, Green Scope, Mark Masson. All right, three boxes. Sorry, my knife hit the bell. Three boxes to go. Jets, Dolphins? That's going to be a tie, Jonathan. Give me a tie. A 12 12 tie. I mean, I don't know. I feel like the Dolphins have to stumble into a win at some point, right? Why not this game? This is probably the game where they can stumble into a win. 7-3 Dolphins? Yeah. Dolphins looked a little lively with, uh, with Fitzpatrick. With the early 14-0 lead on the Steelers. So... I mean, they made it interesting for a second. With Danny Amendola to two, 175, but I don't think I don't think the uh, Dolphins want to win, right? There's wow. Retiree, Andrew Luck. That is for Robert and the Colts. Nice. Not numbered, but pretty strong. There's Easton Stick to 199. Daryl Henderson to 249. Trace McSorley to 75. And Darnell Savage Jr., Sensational Signatures, Packers. That'll be for Charles. All right, let's keep going. A couple boxes to go. Larry Fitzgerald to 25. Heinz Ward, Dexter Williams to 99. Marlon Humphrey to 249. Rock Yasin to 149. Deshaun Hamilton to 175.
And Josh Jacobs autograph. Nice. Great Josh Jacobs for Jason Schmidt and the Raiders. Huge addition by the Raiders. Been playing pretty well. Looking better and better each week. Two boxes ago. We're almost there. Almost there. Stay on target. Um, the last game we haven't talked about yet is the Monday night game. Cowboys at Giants. Divisional Rivals. Who wins? Giants are the are the home dog plus six and a half. I think steel Steelers. Cowboys. Health health healthy? Healthier? I think the offensive line was a little banged up, but I think maybe they're back on track. Some questionable, but I think they should play. Joe Matthews says Giants. That Giants secondary is kind of awful, though. There's 249 Vance McDonald. Yeah, Johnson Torres says, Love my Giants, but the Dallas offense will blow up the defense again. Yeah, the secondary is not good. That's the problem. Redemption. Daniel Jones looks good, though. That's the future right there. You don't have to worry about, you don't have to worry about Daniel, the quarterback position, I think. Mike and I can build around him and Saquon. There's Stephon Diggs to 75. There's Tyron Matthew to 149. There's Jerome Bettis to 199. Dylan Mitchell to 149 for the Vikings. Robert with the Vikings. Vernon Hargraves, a third, 249. We've got Dexter Lawrence for the Giants. Andrew Luck again, 99. Just pulled his autograph a few moments ago. There's Adam Humphreys to 175. Gary guessing David Montgomery on that? Possibly. Probably. It's Jalen Ferguson to uh, 199. And Jimmy Garoppolo to 249. Your undefeated Niners. Crazy. And there's Daryl Henderson, 5 out of 5. There you go, Andrew. Need some nice Rams, he said a few minutes ago. I would consider that a nice Ram. Gold vinyl. Daryl Henderson. Five out of five. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo!
Excuse me, my allergies are driving me nuts. All right, let's see who this redemption is going to be. It's going to be Sensational Signatures, card number 12, T, O, Tom, Tony, Gonzalez, Tony Pollard. Man, I really just hyped myself up there. <laughs> That's for the Dallas Cowboys. Dang. I don't even know if Tom Brady's in this as an autograph, but pretty solid right there too. You got the uh, the backup to young rookie backup to Zeke Elliott and the young rookie backup to Todd Gurley. All right, we made it, folks. Last box. Good luck. Last three autographs, good luck. This will be a pretty great week of football, ladies and gentlemen. This will be a lot of exciting matches. Marshawn Lattimore to 49. Tyler Boyd to 99. Tyree Jackson for the Bills. Buffalo. Robert. Marcus Peters to 249. TJ Hawkinson, Lions. Deshaun Jackson should be back this week, 75. I think Deshaun Jackson really changes that you know, Eagles offense. Stretches the field out a little bit more than everyone has room to work. Devin White to 149. More Minshew. I haven't found a silver Minshew yet, though. Julio Jones to 175. Rough season for the Falcons. I thought they'd be a lot better this year. Maybe new voice in the in the coaching staff should help. To 199, Jonathan Abram. Golden Tate III to 249. Redemption. Lamar Jackson to 149. And Quadri Allison at the end here for the Falcons. That'll be for Willie Brock.
And your redemption is going to be... Rookie Patch Autographs Prism. That's the RPA in here. One per case. I, oh, I think I know who this is. Irv Smith Jr. Vikings. That'll be for Minnesota. That's for Robert. All right, thanks, everybody. Let's give away some points and some money. All right, so everyone has a shot at the points. But only people who bought multiple teams have a shot at the break credit. So let's sort by first name. So Aaron, you've got two. Excuse me a second. Michael got four, right? So that'll be two entries. And Robert, you got 11, but only 10 of those count, so that's five entries. So one spot in 10 will be able to get a uh, $100 a break, $100 a break, right? Yep, 100 bucks a break credit, winner take all on that. All right, let's roll it and randomize each list. Five and a six, 11 times. One, two, seven. And 11 the final time, finally, Willie Brock. You've got two 200-point, 200 250-point cards going your way. There you go. A little consolation prize for you. Now 11 times for 100 bucks a break credit. Name on top gets it after 11. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Then final time. Name on top is Mark Matheson. Wow. Mark, there you go. Congrats to you. $100 break credit going your way. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. JazzPeaceCaseBreaks.com.